Hey everybody, it's Killin' Pixels, and we are back playing Dead Synchrocity. Tomorrow comes today. Uh, when we left, we got our shoes. Hello, shoes. I missed you. Well, I didn't really know you, but you, you know what I mean. And the store open. So, we have a lot to cover in this episode. Let's get to it. I wonder if I should knock first. No, just go in. It's fine. What are you doing here? Uh -oh. Get out of here! You've no business being in this room! Rod, I I'm sorry. I... Mm. Mm -hmm. But what's going on? Get out of here, Michael! You didn't see anything, understood? Out! Out! Saw nothing. Excuse my outburst, Michael. I shouldn't... I shouldn't have behaved that way. It's not like me. But this new world brings out the worst in all of us. It's just that I can't stand to see Colin suffer this way. So for your own good, please, stay away from this room. Away? Why? It's no use trying to hide it. You're bound to find out sooner or later. Colin is very sick, and the authorities claim his illness is highly contagious. Highly contagious? Is he one of the dissolved? Michael! I won't let anyone use that word in my house! Calm down. Yes, Colin caught that damn disease. Good lord, I'm, I'm sorry that I said the word dissolved. I will never use a tablet that has to dissolve in your house. Because I can't tell you what it's doing. Anyways. Oh, more dialogue. That's what this game is though, it's dialogue, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> they get infected by zombies? It's always zombies, isn't it? It was zombies. Say zombies. But how did Colin get infected? We don't know. No one knows how the disease is spread. The only thing we know is that the disease appeared after the catastrophe and that it's spreading like wildfire. So the Great Wave brought the dissolved with it? Yes, but don't use that word again. Not in this house, anyway. It's so cruel and disrespectful. In effect, that's the only thing we know for sure about all this insanity. The Great Wave took everything from us and left us with this epidemic. Okay. Um, what's the disease made out of? And what exactly does the disease consist of? I don't know, Michael. No one really does. The only news is what the army brings us. They say the disease is highly contagious, and it's our duty to turn over all victims to the cleanup brigades. But no one has ever come back after being carried off in one of those ambulances. No one. So we can't let them take Colin, do you understand? Yes, of course I understand. They say that all the victims are condemned, that there's no salvation for anyone, that at the end of their suffering and their trances lies certain death. I think that even the army is afraid of the victims. Really strange things happen around them, Michael. Things you wouldn't believe. Um, like what? Like, I don't know, I read some of your journal earlier, so I might know. Maybe. Dead people? What things happen around people infected with the disease? Strange things, with no possible explanation. In their trances, they... They go places, Michael. They bring back information. They know things. They talk to people who are no longer with us. And we've been living like this for weeks. The things that are happening around Colin are getting more and more confusing and hard to bear. Talking to the dead? Jesus. This man's nerves are shot from the exhaustion and stress. What's happening to Colin is terrible. If only there was something I could do. Well, Michael. You can help us. I'm convinced that our finding you was no coincidence. You've got to help us. D what? Don't be putting this all on me. This is your son. You should be helping him. Why has it always got to be me? Getting involved looks dangerous. I saw that shooting out there. There's also the possibility of infection. Infection? Are you afraid for your life, Michael? Yes. Without our help, you'd be dead right now. Dead. Don't forget that. What's more, I could help you in return. I could help you get back what you lost, don't you see? Give me back what I lost? 
but you hardly know me, Rod. I know the essential part, Michael. I know that you're a blankhead. Blankhead? What the devil does that mean? A blankhead is a person with no memories, who can't remember anything. It seems that the Great Wave had an enormous neurological impact on certain people, Michael. You're not the only one, or even the worst case. There are people who even forgot how to talk and how to walk after the explosion. Some ended up dying of starvation. They forgot what food looked like, how to chew it, even that eating was a necessity. You can consider yourself lucky. You still remember how to keep yourself alive. And that's the important thing. The natural recovery process is slow. It can take months, if at all. Listen to me, Michael. A man without memories is just a shadow. Or even worse, he's nobody. I still have some contacts out there. I was an important man in the municipal government. I could trace your name, your data in public records, your fingerprints. I could restore your whole life in the blink of an eye. But please, help us. About you don't call me a blankhead, and I don't call your son a dissolved. That would be helpful. Alright. I have no choice but to help you. Do I? I mean, I kind of feel guilty that I don't want to help you because you did save my life, so... But you said yourself that all the victims are condemned. What can I do? No. All is not lost. In the camp, there are rumors of a cure. It seems that in the city, on the other side of the fence, the victims have access to a drug. But we can't get it here. And my contacts out there, well, let's just say they can't do anything to help. Um, why, why can't they help you? What is this drug? So there's a drug that can cure them? Yes, but they say that producing it takes a long time and is very expensive. And so it's reserved for city dwellers who can afford to pay for it. Get us that drug, Michael. I beg of you, please. Colin's time is running out. I'm grateful for your help, Rod, and for everything you people have done for me. But... Listen to me, Michael. We know that it's possible that our son is condemned to die. In fact, my wife and I have everything prepared for when he... leaves us. Our child is the only thing that keeps us holding on in the new world. Nothing would have any meaning for us without him. So if there is even the slightest chance of saving him, we are prepared to do whatever it takes. Please, Michael, help us. Uh, mm, mm, I, okay. For God's sake, listen to him. He's just a child. Rod, come in here, quickly! Bring us that cure, and we'll help you get your life back. Colin is our only hope in this new world. Help us save our future, and I'll give you back your past. I promise you. Better. Goodbye, Michael. No, Rod, wait. Bring a drug? Is he out of his mind? That man wants me to put his son's life in my hands? I can barely remember who I am. And I probably wouldn't last more than a few hours out there. But Rod was right. A man without a past is nothing more than his shadow. He offered to help me get my life back, my memories. So if I want answers, I have only one possible course of action, to get that drug. I hope this drug has been FDA approved, cause I think I might be dissolved. So I might be taking it and bringing your son what's left. Sounds mean, but I gotta look out for myself in this weird future thing. Wait a minute. Before leaving, I should write down everything important I find out in this notebook. It might come in handy if, as Rod says, I'm one of the blank heads the great wave left in its wake. Okay. All right, let's... Let's go with... Uh-oh. But... What's happening? What is this? I don't know. What the hell's going on here? Stuff. Good God. I think I'm starting to lose my mind. Just a little bit. Anyways, uh, let's, uh... Let's go explore our camp. Okay, um, guard shack. Oh, hey, no, stop that. Damn it. What's going on? No. It's amazing. Stop it. Everything is mute? Yeah, it did. I don't understand. Yep, yeah, nope, you don't need to understand. Okay, uh, anyway. Uh, junk pile thing? Guard shack? Don't know. And 
I think that's where the um, guy got shot. So, um, I don't know how to get to it. Can I? Although it looks hastily and shoddily built, it's surprising to see a brick and mortar building amid all these shacks in the refugee camp. No doubt this must belong to someone important or with very good contacts in here. Uh, let's, I guess, go here. Maybe I can get to it from here. Hmm. I don't really. Oh, I want the motorcycle. I don't really want to talk. Oh, here we go again. Oh no. It's like well, everything around. Hey, Birdie. Good God. No. I think I'm starting. Hey, don't don't be talking about that stuff around the guards. Seriously. Just go look Dozens at the wall. Dozens of bullet marks and some trails of fresh blood dripping down the wall. Oh my God. This corner of the camp stinks of gunpowder. Well, then maybe we shouldn't be here. Um, what is, what is that? A oh. pool of blood mixed with mud marks the spot where that man, the mole, was shot. It gives me the chills. They may be able to kill with impunity, but it's still the scene of a crime. Can we go? Yep, yeah, we can go up there. Let's, let's go to his house. See what he's got. Hello, house. You look like you've seen better days. Um, yes, that is a woman smoking. What is, oh. Nothing of interest. The floor of the room is littered with useless junk like this. But wait a minute. I think I can see something sticking out from under that piece of wood. Oh, this could be helpful. I don't, um, I guess we should talk to the lady. Hey, you filthy rat. Get out of my house. Do you hear me? Out! I... Forgive me. We've got nothing left for you to steal. Go back to your sewer, you filthy rat. Scram! Assumptions? No, you've got it all wrong. I haven't come to take anything. But wait a minute. I recognize you. Weren't you with the man they shot out there a while back? Yes. My name is Misha, and that man is my husband. I thought for a second they said shat out. <laughs> it's shot out. Oh, it was close though. It was close. Um. Oh. Why did they shoot your husband? But what happened? Why did they shoot your husband? It's all your fault. All because of you cap rats. One of you reported him for harboring a dissolved. And those army pigs opened fire without even caring who they were aiming at. Or how hard my husband had worked for them. So the lady the cleanup brigades took away from this house was a dissolved. That was my mother. I'm sorry. I'm never gonna see her again. Damn filthy rats. Are you satisfied? It was you people that brought death to this family. I felt bad for a second, and now I don't. Because you're yelling in my face. Uh, what, yeah, what's on your floor? Why is everything all over the floor? Were you robbed? They left us nothing! Those envious rats took everything. They'd been hanging around waiting for days. It seems like those bums have a sixth sense about where it dissolved is being hidden. When they saw my husband injured and lying on the ground, they forced their way in and looted our house. Bums? Envious rats? Who are you talking about exactly? Them! All of them! Everyone living here in this camp envies us. They envy who we are, what we have, our privileges, our army contacts. So they envy you because your husband is a mole. Is that right? Don't call him that, you worm! He collaborates with the forces of law and order. That's his job. And in this collaboration with law enforcement, wasn't turning in others of the dissolved one of your husband's duties? Shut up! Shut up! You envy us too! You're just like the rest of the rats in this camp. And what are the three of us gonna do when my husband's gone? We'll lose everything! The house, the money, our privileges! I am uh, finding it very hard to feel sorry for you. Actually, you know what? I don't feel sorry for you at all. I really, really don't. Just... Not at all. Um... Yeah, who else is... Who else do you live with? You said the three of us. Is there someone else in the family? We have two children. Two small boys. And in this camp, envy eats away at everybody. 
Now we'll be outcasts. No one will help us when my husband is gone. That's Winter sad. will come, our money will run out, and my children will starve. Those two brats wear me down with their antics. I have to chase after them all the time, but they're my children, and none of this is their fault. You know, I can't, I can't let your kids starve. I don't really care about you, because you're being a bitch. But, uh, your kids. Can't let them children starve. Uh, yeah. How is your husband? He's badly injured. One of the bullets went through his stomach. He's not gonna make it. He's really suffering. He's in excruciating pain. If we at least had some morphine to ease his pain. Are you a doctor? Do you know for sure that he is not gonna make it? I mean, where is your PhD, madam? Where? What privileges are you going to lose? As a collaborator, my husband always received special treatment from the army. More generous rations of food and water. A little money, clothes, a treat now and then for the kids. And now all of that's gonna end. We won't be able to leave the camp. When he dies, they'll take away his gate pass. We'll die uh, locked up uh. in here. Like you rats. Hmm. Did she say a gate pass? Yes, she did. Listen, Misha. I can help you. And just how are you gonna help us, rat? There's something important I urgently need to get from the other side of the fence. While I'm out there, I could also get some morphine for your husband. I've heard that things are better in the city. It shouldn't be too hard for me to find some, but first I need to get out of the camp. Like I told you, my husband has a pass that gets him through the gate. I could lend it to you, but I don't trust you. I don't trust you or any other filthy rat in this camp. Beat it! Get out of here! If I want to get my identity back, I need that drug for the dissolved. And to get it, I have to leave the camp. I have to do whatever it takes to gain this woman's trust. No matter how unpleasant I find her screams and insults. Listen to me. I'm not just another camp rat. I'm your friend. I want to be your friend. You told me you were worried about winter coming. Let me help you. I'll bring you food. Food for your children. Then will you trust me? I don't know. Bring me the food first. First you bring me food for my children, and then we'll talk about that pass. I'll do it. I don't know. I don't really want to help you, because you're extremely bitchy. Hopefully your kids are nicer. I don't know. I don't know. Of course I gotta help you, but I don't wanna. Because, yeah, just don't wanna. Well, that'll do it for this episode. And the next one, of course, we will help Misha, kind of. But at least we'll help Misha's kids. That was That's what we're doing. We're helping her kids, not really her. It makes me feel better. And we'll go get her some food, I guess. I don't know. We'll explore some more and try to help her out. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time.